Welcome to The Tread. My name is Dallas and I'm the parent of two autistic boys. Here is part two of my series, Using Prolo to Make Visuals. First, create a user that is only used to make Prolo visuals. Tap on Setting. Tap on User. Tap on Add User. Create a name. Done. English. Next. The voice doesn't matter. Hello, I'm Liam, one of the child. Crescendo is fine. Next. Intermediate vocabulary. Next. I'm choosing landscape for my orientation, so I go next. I want the buttons to be bigger to make visuals, so I will put less buttons on the grid size, so that's why I tap the minus. That's good. Next. Not doing any advanced setup. Next. Finished. Okay. Now we have a user, which is just for doing the visuals in it. Okay, it can be handy to make folders for your different visuals. So let me show you how to make a folder. You need to be in editing mode, so tap the little pencil at the bottom of the screen. You will see buttons with a cross on them and a cross inside a folder. Tap on the cross inside the folder. Tap on new folder. Because this is not a folder for communication, we do not need any other words on it, so we will choose no template. Next. We'll give it a name. Done. Now we have a folder for our bedtime routine schedule. Tap on that to open it. Now tap on the editing icon at the bottom of the screen. Tap on the plus. Let's add shower. Tap on that and a picture appears. You can change the pictures easily or you can just stick with what was first suggested. Next is pajamas. Then brush teeth. read and sleep. Now you'll notice that some of the squares are different colors. That's to denote uh, whether it's a verb or an adjective or a noun. Since this is not for communication purposes we don't need to do that. So we're going to make them all one color. Tick on all the boxes and make sure they all have a tick on them. Then go down to appearance uh, and you'll see border color. Tap on that. I'm going to choose black, but there are all sorts of different colors here that you can choose. Okay, get rid of the ticks and done. There you have your bedtime schedule. Now let me show you how to turn this into a printed and laminated visual. First step is to take a screenshot by pressing the on off button and the home button at the same time. Tap on the thumbnail sketch in the bottom left hand corner, crop it to size, tap done and save to photos. I do all my visuals on an iPad so I'll be using the pages app to lay out my visuals. So go to Pages, open your folder, and create a blank document. When I am creating a visual schedule, I like to put the visuals in a grid so it can be seen as steps that need to be done in a particular order. I usually make them in a vertical format, but you can do it in a horizontal format if you prefer. Tap on the plus in the top right hand corner. 
Then tap on the grid icon, which is on the left of the menu. I just choose a simple grid. This is a 5 by 4 grid. I would like it to be a 5 by 1. So I tap on the little icon on the corner of the grid and I take that down to 1. Now to change the size of that, I put my finger on the blue dots to move it and make it more smaller. Then I grab the other ones to make more square. Okay, now I want to make all the squares white. So I select the gr grid, then I go up to the paintbrush on the top right hand corner. Then I go to cell fill and I choose white. I go back to cell and I want to make all the lines a bit darker. So I go to cell border, choose all the lines and take the width up to one. There. Now tap, tap on the plus again and go to the photo icon which is on the right. Choose the screenshot that you just took. Now so that you can move this into the grid you need to go to arrange and choose none. So now I can move that in front of the grid. Okay you need to separate these pictures so that you can put one in each of the grid. So tap on that and then move the blue line until it's just showing the one square. The one. Now you can make that smaller by dragging the blue dots again. Now just copy and paste to get the next square. Double tap and then move them across and then just keep doing that until you've got all the next brush teeth. Copy, paste, read, done, paste again and then we can go down to the last one which is sleep. Done. You can also add an extra box for numbers. Select the grid and then touch on the little icon and up to two. Use the blue dot to move it for them to turn into squares. Select the squares you want to put the numbers in and go up to the paintbrush. I'm going to center my text. I'm also going to change the color and I'm going to change the size of it. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Done. I hope this has showed you how simple it is to use Prilo to make visuals. Make sure you watch part three where I show you how to customize these visuals. Bye.